What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Nerds Be Light. Today we are doing another toy review. As you can see, I have a different background behind me. Uh, I really wanted to show the two posters that I have. This is my favorite show. This is one of my favorite uh, Disney movies or D Disney movie series. One, two, and three. Four. Four wasn't bad. Okay. Uh, it wasn't my favorite, but I was glad that they brought Woody's story to like an end. The end of, you know, one section in his life and he was moving on to the next section. Um, so, you know, it was, it, was, it was a good take. I enjoyed it. Number three, it made me cry. Okay, this is not about Toy Story. So I'm sorry, not sorry that I'm talking about Toy Story. Okay, uh, so today we're going to review these wonderful toys up here. I don't, you can't really see them, uh, but you will see them. We already reviewed uh, the G.I. Joe that I bought um, that, like I said, I used to own back in the day. One thing I've recently been really interested in is, the di like I said, bef I think I've said this before, the different changes in toys. They are evolving, but they aren't evolving. Like... There are, there are toys that you know, okay, they change this up. And then there are other toys where you're like, man, this is kind of nostalgic for me, you know? And so for those toys that are more so nostalgia, nostalgia, Bring back memories. I go online and I look for those toys, um, like Giant Man. Um, another toy that I'm gonna I'm going to go find are uh, these toys right here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you all remember um, Mega Man. Um, I might be dating myself a little bit, but... Uh, I know that, you know, among the era of, you know, first video games and things like that, Mega Man was among those. Um, and then, you know, when I was younger, uh, it was still evolving. Mega Man was still going, you know, it was still, they were adding, you know, uh, expanding the story, expanding how, you know, he maneuvered around, you know, creating different things. Um, and then, you know, as I got older, you know, I started to get into Mega Man, you know, the Mega Man Mini, and then, you know, the Mega Man Plus, 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 and it was so much fun. Like, I think about that game all the time because of just, I think about it because, like, you know, when I have my phone or when I connect it to something or when I connect my Xbox to the television or when you can um, take, when you can cast what's on your phone onto your smart television. Like, I mean, when we can do stuff like that with technology, like, even just, you know, you know, my connection with how, how his mic is, you know, being, is working and everything. Like, on there, it's that you have a Navi or you have a, um, an avatar, but instead of the avatar, instead of you controlling the avatar, the avatar has a mind of its own. It's, it's a computer. called the Navi. Um, and so, they, you know, you can connect them anywhere and you can, you know, they, like you said, they have a mind of their own. They talk back to you, you know, you can have a whole, full conversation with them because they have a mind. So, it's not that they're just, you know, out here and you're crazy talking to your sense character, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway. This is Mega Man. It's really bright in here. This is Mega Man. Hold up. Yeah, I like that better. All right, this is Mega Man. Um, the these toys you can uh, take their arms off, and they come with cannons. Uh, but because this, I have I've had this well over probably fifteen years, maybe 10, 10 years. Maybe. I feel like. I've had, but this used to be my oldest brother's. My younger, my youngest brother, my younger brother had the red Mega Man, um, and then I had Bass. Uh, Bass was a villain, and he was my favorite character in the game. Like he was like this super powerful villain, um, and he always wore this cloak. And then whenever he would. Um, Whenever he would use his powers, he would swing the cloak back, or you know, swing the cloak back with his hand like this, and then like zap you with some type of electricity. So that's what I mean by nostalgia. Um, you know, toys that I grew up with and that that were made with, um, you know, it, it was made with a certain style. 
uh, the plastic was different that are behind me. One of the things that has, or an area, an area that has always been evolving is uh, that I want to kind of touch bases on are Barbie, our dolls. Um, and I'm going to do another video about Barbie dolls uh, because I, I don't, I'm not going to talk about it, but um, we're going to get there. Now, if you know, if you remember, you should know, it's, it's on Netflix, that The Incredibles 2 came out recently. But one of the cool things about it, which is I was really overjoyed, was they made the toys. They made the toys for the movie. Now, I was not a fan of all of the toys. As you can see, I only have one of them. Uh, but I am I'm planning on uh, going to the Disney store and buying the uh, Mr. Incredible just to have them. I love the Incredibles uh, franchise. Love, love. Like, everything about it is just really good. But, I, but like, Frozone is just cool, bro. Like, he just suave, man. And he was just like, you know, hey, what's up? That, that's just him. Like, he, you know, uh, where's my super suit? You know, come on. Like, we, we all, that that's just become, like, people who grew up watching that movie, uh, like, when it first came out, the first Incredibles movie. Um, that That's like, if somebody said, where is my super suit? I'm not trying to say it the right way because I don't want to yell at my mic, but... When somebody said that, like, you laughed and you had a great time just off of that phrase because you knew what was going on. You knew what was happening. So, like, Frozone, man, he is, like, legit played by Samuel L. Jackson. Yep. They even made him, you know, kind of look like him a little bit, like his younger self back in the day. But, um, you know... So this toy specifically, he does not do a lot of movement and the toys like him because you know, they have all, all of the toys that are like this. It's just, you know, their legs move up and down and their arms move up and down. Their head moves side to side maybe, but his does, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want it to get loose. But, um, but you know, like, uh, it's like this style of toy where it's just in that, you know, a skinny rectangle box. I opened him already. I opened him already because you know I, I couldn't I couldn't wait. Next thing I want to talk about is a statue, okay? Um, and it's from my favorite show, One Piece. One Piece boy. One Piece. I love this show. I love all these characters. It's just so good. It's just so amazing. One day I'll talk about One Piece because if you're a One Piece fan like me, then you read the manga, you watch the anime, you get whatever collectible you can get your hands on. I really wish, oh my goodness, I really wish Hasbro, the people who make the Marvel Legends, I wish they would make the toys for One Piece. That would be so cool. But instead, or for now, I have this. I have this action figure or statue, small statue, of Roronoa Zoro. Roronoa Zoro. Yes, look at that. Yes. Using the one sword style. Look at that power. Just the one sword style with that power. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. And this is after this is the two year after the two year time skip. Okay? Because you see he's wearing the robe and he got the boots. Like this is after the two year time skip. He's already been trained. And so just one sword got this power that he's about to just this right here. Like, you touch it right here, I'm, I feel like I'm about to cut my hand. Like, man, like, he about to slice through somebody, all right? This is the two-year time skip. If you know what I mean by two-year time skip, you don't know what I mean by two-year time skip. Like I said, 
another time I'll explain One Piece. For those who don't know, you're interested, you're an anime watcher, but you're like, I don't know about One Piece, or, you know, I heard about this, and blah, blah, blah. Look, One Piece is number one. Next, Barbie has been changing the game as far as their dolls are concerned. Um, and then because they made that step, um, there was this, there's this company that decided to make, um, that decided to make Barbie dolls for black or colored women. Well, their doll brand, Fresh. So they're fresh dolls. So this is a fresh doll. Now, um, now, like I said, when I talk about how things have evolved and things of that nature, having a black doll, it wasn't crazy rare, but it was. Like, I remember my sis my oldest sister growing up, she had all these dolls. She had about maybe three black dolls, but, the, but she had like 10 blonde hair, or not to say that as wrong. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not making this a race thing. But I'm saying like, you know, you like to see, you know, your toys represent you. But with fresh dolls, you can now feel more comfortable buying your child a doll that it fits more of their style, that fits more of their look. Fit, and then there are some dolls that even fits more of their body size. So if you don't want your daughter to be, you know, ashamed of her body and everything. Uh, there are a lot of different ones, as you can see right here. There's a lot of different uh, fresh dolls. Um, they even got the guys. They always make the guy dolls look girly still. I never understood that. Like, they can make Barbie and the rest of them can stand to make somebody look like G.I. Joe. But I guess that's why G.I. Joe made their own thing. You go buy a G.I. Joe, and you go buy one of her. You go buy a Barbie or a Fresh doll, and presto, you know? You got Medley Medley. I bought this specific doll because its name, or all of the Fresh dolls say, I'm whoever the female's name is, or the male's names are. Um, so this one says, I'm Marisol. Or it probably says Marisol, but I read it Mighty Soul because that's the name of my woman. That's the name of my wife. Her name is Mighty Soul. Um, and and so when I saw this, I said, I'm not, I'm not leaving this in the store. I can't. Like, what kind of husband would I be just to let it stay there? Come on, come on. She has bendable knees. Her arms move. She got the red hair, so she's posable. And right here, got the heels, you know. Since her name is Mari Soul, she gotta be Hispanic, so, you know. The Latinas like to wear the shoes without, you know, without the covering of the toe. This dress looks like, um, I don't know. It looks like something my wife actually owns. Like, when we were dating, she wore something like this. I had to get it. I was like, hey, that's my baby. This is black owned or black founded. Yeah, black owned, black founded. That lady's name is Dr. Lisa. She's the CEO and founder of World of EPI or EPI uh, at Dr. Lisa. I guess that's her social media. To be fresh is to embrace your look and wear it with confidence. It is my heart's desire that fresh dolls represent true multicultural, multicultural beauty and self-love in children. When I say you don't say that, um, an extension of positively perfect dolls. Fresh dolls have trendy fashions and hairstyles, custom, custom t skin tones, and beautiful faces. With movable joints and more realistic bodies, fresh dolls and guys do anything. Last one, because I'm running out of time. Captain Marvel. All right, they made her in doll form. She is not posable. Her, the, her body is made, feels like it's made out of kind of a cheap plastic. The, uh, her boots though, her boots are, you know, are removable. But she got some big feet though, <laughs> or at least wide feet. Her shoe, her boots are movable. Her power, like her energy come, you know, you can take, put on and take off without them. You know, she still looks 
really cool. I like to keep them on just to show that she got her power. Now, I'm not a giant fan of her movie, but I do see how necessary her movie was according to this uh, MCU series. Um, but when I saw her like this, I said, okay, I have to get her like this. I, I'm cause you know, they did make the, um, the Hasbro one. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm planning on buying that one, but I wanted her like this. And then they also made her in her old suit before she changed the color. Um, uh, but I wanted her to be like this because, you know, she's a big deal. Her character was a big deal. Her character was super strong, um, super awesome. Is not just a hero of the world, but a hero of the universe. So she had, she had to look the part on my show. Yeah. That's what I have for today. Um, thank you for watching this video. I know I rambled on and on about a lot of different stuff and I know I was probably really breathing hard into the mic. Um, I apologize for that. But thank you for watching even still. And please tune in for the next video. Uh, like and share if you enjoy. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell so that you can stay updated on the videos that come. Um, and make sure you also stay tuned to watch all the other videos that are on this page.